Hey friends, it's AMB Ajio and today it's MIUI 8 for Moto G2. It's an unofficial port from the stock MIUI firmware. First thing I want to say about this ROM is that it's gorgeous man. This ROM gives the display an emulated kind of look. I don't know if you can make it out through the camera but trust me man. So taking a look at the UI, the look and the working of this ROM, it's buttery smooth. So taking a look at the UI, the notification panel looks truly outstanding. The flexibility, the accessibility, it's top notch man. The positivity of this room is that this room contains some of the most useful features for daily usage. The first feature, I want to show you the quick ball option available in this room. Which brings this toucher onto the display for flexibility. The second feature is the live disc which is nothing but the app dot lux available in the iOS which, which makes the color of your device much more warmer for eye strain free experience. Then there is this LCD LCD option this, this is useful if you use VR for entertainment. This will bump up the pixel density a bit. The third feature is the dual app functionality. It is useful if you like to maintain two separate apps for social media like in Instagram you can use first app for professional use and second app for the personal use. And then there is an built in app lock if you like to maintain privacy. The fourth feature is the second save option which creates an exact duplicate of the MIUI without any personal data like guest user in windows. If you like customization then there is a built in theme store where there are tons and tons of themes to choose from. Now comes the usability and man it's fluid, it's seriously fluid. Taking a look at the animation man, I just love it. Let's take a look at the home screen tweaks. There are many effects available to choose from as per your likes. Here is a multiple app option available in this room. You can move multiple apps at once. So let's take a look at the app opening speed. It's not so impressive as compared to the stock USB rooms, but the fluidity, it's another level, man. So after opening multiple apps, we get about 185 MB of RAM free for use. And after clearing each and every app from the memory, we get about 454 MB free for use. Let's take a look at the Gamepad score. And it's about 407 single score and 1055 multi-score score. A bit less than the AOSP stock room. It's 
time for some gaming test on Modern Combat 5, the most intense game available. It loaded up quickly. Impressive man. I'm your clock from now to eternity. I give you all my heart. We are meant to be. It's clear to see my love is bigger than I thought. I got everything I want when I hold you with my arm. Now there's no matter my love and my pleasure. The key to my treasure. What I was the weather. Day up and out with you till I die. How many times for you on my truck? Want you to notice the one and I know this. Hmm, it's fluid. I can't sense any frame drops over here. Animation and graphics are impressive. Ok, I will stop the game. The game will eat up all of the memory from this device. There is a bug in this room. If you see like sim card not detected then just double press this power button and you will just get the network back again. And secondly, the camera app is slow, especially in the HDR mode. It takes hell of a time to load up the images. Mm, that's it. I will recommend this room to a person who appreciates beauty and games over performance. You can take a look at this room. If you loved this review then give a thumbs up. If you didn't then give a thumbs down. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for many more reviews. If you want to suggest any video idea or room to review then let me know in the comments. And it's AMBRG here. Hasta la vista man.